Episode 12, 100 Watt Spider Farmer Light. This zucchini plant has been the growth story. There are the roots getting all sorts of uh, golden zucchini. This 100 Watt Light is from Spider Farmer. It's an SF1000. The squash plant is actually parthenocarpic, so you don't have to pollinate it. It naturally wants to uh, put on fruit all by itself. From one side, there's a leaf way over here, and there's a leaf way over there. It's, it's about four feet across, two feet feet to the top of the leaves. So it's an enormous plant. Fortunately, uh, zucchinis don't take as much light as most people would think they would. They adapt very well to hydroponics. Let's take a closer look at it. I guess one other thing to mention is I've done this entire grow using uh, DynaGrowth Foliage Pro 936. The thing that most people don't realize is it mimics the natural uh, 312 concentration of nutrients often found and leaf analysis. It provides for a very lush looking plant. Don't uh, think that it won't do fruiting plants because I was away for a little bit. The golden zucchini have just gone nuts. These are around baseball bat size and diameter. I prefer the uh, baby squash. Leaves that you see down here, I've got some older, more mature leaves that have served their purpose. I'm going to uh, clip those off. I'm going to pull off these uh, large zucchini because they're robbing nutrients. The white blocks that you see where the black cords are plugged in are just CASA uh, timers and I use my Alexa app on my phone to set these to run for 16 hours. Let's start by trying to remove some of the zucchinis. I'm going to just reach in and do a twist. There you go. Some zucchini plants have stickers, which can be very uncomfortable. This one doesn't seem to have that. When the plant was starting to uh, put on fruit, it put on so many fruits that some of the uh, ones didn't have enough energy to complete. So like this one, that one probably could have stayed on there, but I really do want to uh, clean the plant up. These are the ones that originally started to form on the plant right before the plant really kicked into its growth cycle. For whatever reason, they just kind of uh, stopped progressing. Shortly after that is when the plant just exploded into growth. Now that I've pulled off some of those, I'm going to come in here and clip off some of the older leaves. Most of these are the ones down at the bottom. The nice thing about having these on a dolly is I could turn and I could pull it forward and try to get to some of the other ones that are in the back here. Just uh, from moving that dolly forward, I can tell that the container is light and that's just an indication that it's sucked up so much nutrient. I probably need to check the water and come in and freshen that up. I might uh, do a reservoir change as well, but no need to bore you through all of this general maintenance. Just wanted to show you that as I do this, the zucchini plant is actually growing out. It's got like a main trunk on it. If I clean that up, I may have to support it a little bit. This is the, the most rampant growth and uh, productivity that I'm probably going to be able to show you on this uh, video series. But if you want to do a uh, indoor zucchini grow, just uh, go back to the prior weeks and take a look because this is just a perfect plant if you have the room for it indoors.